Hi all, I want to give you an update here. We've been making a lot of progress on the uh, hydraulic uh, conversion on the manual brick making machine. Uh, you can see here I've raised the platform 12 inches over here to give enough room for the cylinder. And you can see it here. This is a 4 inch diameter cylinder, 8 inch um, stroke on it. I have made mount at the bottom over here there is a shaft quarter inch one and a quarter inch shaft and I uh, threaded a quarter inch bolt that would hold it on there you can see underneath the cylinder over here the shaft at the bottom the I mounted it so it's sitting right on the ground bracing over here uh, to beat this thing up just a little bit more. I uh, also have the mounts at the top see over here underneath same situation over here with a, a pin and quarter inch bolts holding it in. Um, I have put in two threaded two bolts over here these will be adjustments over here ultimately to be able to control the depth of how uh, uh, how deep that you want it if you have four inch brick and so forth as it's pushing up uh, there's going to be arms coming from the bottom all the way to the top over here and so i've removed everything on the lid and uh, what i need to mount now is a one and a quarter inch bar all the way across here and then the arms coming all the way up over here are going to hook into this to hold this thing down when we do the hydraulic controls which are going to be mounted right here um, i have made a stand to the side over here and right here is going to be the motor and the gear pump and here I have put it together. This is a five horsepower single phase motor with an eight gallon per minute, per minute uh, gear motor, two stage motor for, lo for a log splitter. I've used this coupler over here. This is what you put together, a spider coupler, where you have a one and one eight inch shaft and you need to mate it to a half inch shaft over here. So you just buy the right sizes over here and there is a nylon spider gear that fits in the middle of this to cushion the joint and uh, you just screw them down with um, uh, uh, key screws over here. Uh, the piping over here, this is the suction pipe and it's a one inch low pressure so this is coming from the tank. Here's the tank over here. So it will be coming from right here. So this is one and a half, so I'm going to have to uh, bring it down to one inch and bring the hose over to here. Then it comes out the other end, half inch, and it is a high pressure line. And this will then go to my control valve right here. And uh, the input output are right here on the side and they're three quarter inch over here NPT and then the two uh, lines out that go to the cylinders which will be going to those two uh, points right there uh, I checked the table for eight gallons per minute and the hose size said that three eighths would just barely make it and really you needed to go a little larger so I had a bunch of three eighths hoses but I decided I don't want any restrictions so I've ordered half inch pipe uh, this is three quarters going back to the tank so uh, you have half inch pressurized coming in half inch going to the cylinders and then if it's going back to the tank it'll be three quarters and it's a lower pressure line it comes right in here over here in the tank so I've ordered all of the hoses and fittings and everything uh, I'm gonna have a pressure gauge right here so I can watch 
the pressure uh, when I'm compressing and that'll tell me a lot whether I've got too dry of a mix or too wet of a mix if it is out of range on the pressure and uh, this is forward reverse for controlling the cylinder and uh, so I just got the arms now to work on and that's what I'm going to be working on this weekend this stand right over here is where the tech goes the tank is going to fit right on top and then the um, motor and gear pump are going to fit down right here once I get all this together then I'm going to take it all apart again paint it and then put it back together and we'll be good to try this, this thing out. 